<laughs> Stop for you break my nail. Cause I don't got no more. You gotta buy me some more. You gotta buy me a whole pack. Cause these are the last ones. Don't worry, we get paid. So don't worry about my future. <laughs> I'm fine. You know I love you, girl. With my heart and soul. You mean everything to my heart. I'm Jay. See? And we're back with another video. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the little bell notification button. Ding, 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 ding. So that you can be notified whenever we post. People always ask, since I'm being African and me American, you know, um, do I feel like he's just using me for a green card? Or, you know, is it is it real true love? So we here to clear up some uh, rumors. Yeah, we're about to clear up some rumors as well as, uh, you know, just talk about the whole concept altogether, you know, the concept of uh, an immigrant getting married to, you know, a citizen of America. Probably people from other countries can also relate to, but, you know, we're going to be touching on both. First and foremost, I'd like to even ask, um, what No, was first it? and foremost, let me ask. Did you marry me for a green card or did you marry yes, me? Yes, no, I married you? for a green card. See, I'm my green card already. <laughs> what do you mean? I married you for a green card. I've gotten it. <laughs> but we are still married, right? So, green card settled. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but actually, um, you know 100%. <laughs> no, for real. Look, I'm serious. You know 100% I married you for a green card. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know. You use me for my but status. I, I, to be honest, if, if you all see, I only have the, the green now. I've not gotten the card. Yeah, it's empty. You know? Yeah, it's empty. So I have the green. I'm waiting for the card to come. You know, so yeah. when I get a green card. I think I got a green card in my purse I can give you. My passport is green though, but it's not that kind of green, not that shade of green. <laughs> but no, to be honest though, um, I married you for love, 100%. And you know, we both know that when we started out, you know, I was already in the process of getting my card. Mm -hmm. You know, my stay already through um, my through a, through a parent. Papa you know, Jesse. so that was already in. in in the process when we met so it wasn't a question about uh oh is he dating me for a green card because i'm already on my own stuff you know but then if i wanted to marry for green card i would have done that even before we met because mm -hmm. you know i'm a i'm a fine boy man i mean look, look at this boy you know you see the you see the cut <clears throat> i think i'm beginning to look white too right Hell, I mean, heck, you know. A pinch of white in me. No. You know, but yeah, I, I, you know, I'm a fine boy, so. I, I'm funny. Looking. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm funny. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm funny looking, and I'm funny too, and then my accent, too, you know. All these ladies, they're always all over me, man. So, if I want to marry for a green card. Before we met, I've had several opportunities, but I turned it down, so. And she knows about all that, so it's definitely not for green card. They married a man, since it's allowed here. Yeah, the, I mean, that's I feel marriage. like that's the easiest way. Cause look, you, nobody gotta know that y'all married. Take vacations married, so. together. I'm like, ooh, married a man. Would you have done it? God forbid. I just ask. Uh -uh. You man. promote it. <laughs> Cause if I wanted it via marriage, hmm, I probably wouldn't be married to you though. Probably wouldn't. Be married to one white woman somewhere. I'd be like, you know me? <laughs> <laughs> we went to the store one day. I was coming out of the car. And this white woman in her car was looking at me. And I kept staring too. And she looked at me like, 
And she did, she got out the car. <laughs> got out of the car, I got out of the car too. I'm like, no, I don't know you like. <laughs> Let's go your way, man. I don't want no trouble, man. Yeah, but yeah, we're not married for for green card. But what I don't like is um, <clears throat> some of my family members when they first met you, they said that. Oh yeah. And I'm like, that's the reason y'all didn't meet him before. You know, like y'all are ignorant. And and I always said, and I've always said before, it was a rule in my family. You better not come home with no foreigner. And look, I came. Not only did I come home with one, I came home <laughs> married to one. So. Yep. So I uh, I remember one of your cousins then, you know, she asked me, "Oh, you married to her for papers?" You know, I just not even my... saying hello. Not she, even saying she hello. She said hello. That was the first thing she said. You know, mm -hmm. I just had to keep my cool. You know, like Jesse, just deal with it. Just mm -mm, you know. But you see, at the end of the day, right? Um, I haven't been here for for a while, and I haven't heard people's stories even Americans I can I can understand where you know why they have the fear and why they have that concern because several people in the past have you know messed things up so initially many of the Americans you know people think they're just gullible and take advantage of them they get into these relationships with um foreigners in good faith you know but at the end of the day, you know, their heart gets broken. These individuals are already married back in their countries. You know, they get their papers or whatever, and you know, I think gone. That, that that was my biggest fear um, at first was that like you had a whole family. Oh yeah. And I, Cause look, you is like too good to be true. You funny, you handsome. You know, you got a good head on your shoulder. You're a god fearing man. Oh. Like. It was like all this package. Relax. 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 It was like all this packaged up in one, and he's single. And I'm like, okay, you don't got no girlfriend, no nut. You just legit like single, single, single. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, mm. that's why like when she got this guy. Oh man. What guy? <laughs> I look like a lady talking about what guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. When she so. met me, she she was like, "No, I ain't gonna let him go, man." She had to hold on tight. I ain't. You know the, the like way that, like that the lady no. with the issue of blood held on to the garment <laughs> of Jesus. That was how it she It wasn't like me. that, like that. But I knew in my heart that he was gonna be with me forever. Like so, I but she actually said that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's because you knew that. No, I'm not gonna let this guy go. It's still the same thing. It's sure a hundred percent. He was yeah. too good to be true. People still meet me today and they they think I'm I'm not married. Like I was in church one day and <laughs> <laughs> I was in church one day and even though we go to church together, you together. know people see Every us together, Sunday. you know. Some people actually even watch our YouTube and we we're having this meeting, you know, and I stood up for this pregnant lady to sit and one other lady said, Ah, God will do your own for you too, you know. I said, what do you mean? Ah, God will give you your own wife, too. And the lady next to her said, he's married, though, with kids. She was like, ah. she said, you don't look it, though, brother Jesse. You don't look it at all. I'm like, that's God's grace, man, you know. But how are you supposed to look when you're married? Like, stressed out? Yeah, they out? expect that when you're married, you'll probably be chubby, you big, have beers, you know. you would be like, hey, bow in here. Show up, ba. Not here. But, man, look at me, man. I'm just a young, chill, fly boy, you know. With a beautiful mamacita next to me. Oh. Uh uh, what your friend always tell me? My beautiful <laughs> African African queen. But like, yeah. call him my white beautiful African queen. Which queen? Not the queen to your heart, though. <laughs> <laughs> she must be the uh, plural queen, or <laughs> what are those medicines with the coins in it? <laughs> but I, I do appreciate that. Um, I feel like even. You being an honest person, I feel like if you just wanted me for a green card, I feel like you would have you would have told me. Oh yeah. I feel like you the type that'd be like, okay, well, I just need this little transaction, so you know, let's yep. come on. But you look, look, and you won't believe that people legit do this marriage thing for uh I mean as a contract. You know? To be honest, if we wasn't married, and I know what I know now, 
I will contract and be married for for green card. Yeah, and they but legit make a lot of money from Benjamins. Like, they make some people go as high as twenty thousand with a car. With I think a I know, house. I know somebody who offering thirty thousand with a car and house. Man, you know, just for that purpose. Mm -hmm. But then again, uh, African. But then again, there are a lot of people, like a lot of Africans that I know that have gotten scammed by American women you know for this whole purpose because the the Americans in question they already know that oh this person is illegal we're trying to get married for papers so you got to pay XYZ before XYZ commences and once this payment is made the women just vanish one or two they don't even show up for the wedding <laughs> or they don't show up for the interview you know it's a whole bunch of circumstances and at the end of the day the African or immigrant in question, who do you want to report to? You can't call the police or mm. nothing, you know, because you already understand that what you're getting into is illegal. That's marriage fraud, but I mean, it happens both ways. So now the Americans are scamming the Africans or the immigrants. In reverse, some immigrants are also getting their papers and leaving. So you see, it's just a sea of several mixture of confusion. By the end of the day, there's still love between both cultures, you know, when you come together. And that's why I think you should be honest from the get-go. Because I was with her, you know, I was very honest. I'm sure she must have been thinking it in her head. You lied about one thing. What thing did I lie about? Speaking Chinese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was telling my friends, like, oh, he African, he speak Chinese. <laughs> You see, I met her that day, and this is not to be rude to any Chinese or Asian out there, but, you know, I watched a lot of Chinese movies growing up, so I knew some things that I used to hear and make up some. You know, I said a few things. She'd be like, oh, you speak Chinese? I told her, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> and, you know, she believed it, man. She took it serious. A hundred percent. Eventually, when I told her I don't, she was like, you're lying. So that's the only thing I lied about, which was yeah. cool, you know. But I, I do appreciate. I appreciate that you don't have a wife and kids. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. I'm sorry for cutting short. You know this girl. This girl, this girl. She is slick. Even though I told you that I wasn't married, I had no kids and none of that. She went behind my back. She asked my siblings if I was married. And I asked your mama. Oh, you asked my mom too? Mm hmm You see? But you see, it's because I had nothing to hide. So, you know, you had full access to my family. Since day one. Yeah, you know, so I had nothing to hide. So, like, I was very transparent with you. Like, I mean, you can talk to them on your own. You don't have to go through me to talk to them or whatever, you know. Ask mm -hmm. them whatever. You know, establish your relationship with them. And and I did, yeah. and I and I do, and they they open. Uh, I don't think I don't think your mama lie about anything. Sure. Won't oh, lie. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I tried to. We tried to plan something for you as a secret, and she just said, "Oh, we can't do this because I'm gonna have to tell him." I'm like Mama Jesse. I can't lie to my son. That's exactly ah, what she mama said. Mama Jesse, chop no cool. <laughs> she knows no. what's up, you know. No. So to wrap things up and put it all in summary, Jesse Omagani did not marry me for a green card. Can you guys please stop asking? <laughs> Can you stop asking that? Um, he do genuinely love me. Not only does he show me, but he tell me. Um, he loves my son. He shows and tells him. He do everything that a, a man who love his wife supposed to do. One hundred percent. And for those of you out there who are probably in a situation with an African, an immigrant or whatever, you know, I feel like you would know from the vibe you get from your, from your spouse or your significant other, you know. You're just going to know if the person is being honest with you, if you have access to, to a bunch of things, you know, you, you're going to feel it. So you have to also protect your, yourself, you know. Like, I'm not coming against, I'm not coming after anybody, but just protect yourself, man. My thing be, is, if you get that feeling that be like red flag, listen to that feeling. Yep. But you'll also notice, too, 
Uh, at the beginning, they'll act a certain way, and then when they get lax, they start the show. If that's the case, red flag, let them go. He, it ain't worth it. Red card. The women do it too. Yeah, women marry men to for for a green card. They do it too. Uh, very quick one. I met someone one day in a train who said uh, he tried severally to get married to a woman, of course for a green card, but since the women are more, they are more conscious of the old green card situation and not being duped and being heartbroken they married a man since it's allowed here yeah i mean that's i feel marriage. like that's the easiest way because look you, nobody gotta know that y'all married you know nobody gotta know that you know y'all homosexual um y'all go out party y'all take y'all pictures people see y'all together you can be like oh no this is my best friend from mm -hmm. ecuador <laughs> or whatever you know and people are legit believe that Yep, no, no, you Take guys are Take so. together. I'm like, ooh, marry the man. Would you have done it? Go for it. I just ask. Uh -uh. You man. promoting it. <laughs> but... I'm not promoting it. <laughs> I'm just telling my experience, telling my story, man. You say, man, go for it. I can't even allow a straw to enter me. Pin. Well, you ain't got to do nothing. Y'all just live together. The whole concept is terrible. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If it was me, I'll do it. If I was a woman, and I needed papers, I'll marry another woman. Okay, thank God you're not in that situation. Cause look, cause you can be best friends. Mm. And best friends are always together and stuff like, you know? Yeah, I understand. You know, people do that too. I sh I'm sure some people watching mm. will be like, ah, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, Nobody will know. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. So, don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell notification button. So that you can be notified whenever we post it. And then say <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> you was taking too long, I was trying to hold it. You could oh have just yawned with the raw.